You are watching WPTV. Welcome back to Press Start. Now it's me, Matt Camera, host of Lights, Camera, Action, and on this episode, my guest Schaefer and I will be discussing Jordan Peele's second contribution to the horror genre, Us. The movie received a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes and was generally well received, but some reviewers were kind of left scratching their heads. I mean, I know I was kind of one of them. I did enjoy the movie though, and Schaefer, I know that you have some interesting thoughts about this movie. What did you think? I loved it. Um, I mean, the first initial thought was based on that really, really creepy picture of um, Adelaide with the mask off. Mm -hmm. That was, that, I was like, yeah. okay, this is gonna be bad, uh, pretty scary. But um, I mean, throughout the movie, I was, I was really enjoying it. My friend yeah. saw it for like this third or fourth time and he, he was like, you should see this, so. Right, well you mentioned like the promotional material and how like that picture of her with the mask on and off was kind of scary. Um, I definitely thought it was gonna be more of a horror directed movie. Um, but it turned out to be more kind of lighthearted, in my opinion. Did you think it was really scary? Certain parts. I think um, there were a couple jump scares. Uh, there was also some uh, some blood and gore. You know, mm -hmm. gotta gotta get that blood and gore in, I guess somehow. But yeah. uh, certain parts made me feel a little eerie. But I more or less perceived it as like a psychological thriller. That's that's kind of my yeah. view of the film. No, it's definitely more of a thriller. Uh, movie like oh, that yeah. and the cast I feel like did a spectacular job of pulling that off um, just by the fact that they they were able to make those facial expressions like while they were playing the the, the demon family um, how did you think the cast kind of did their job like oh. do you think they did well Lapita she yeah. did she did a great job like mm -hmm. her alter uh, alternate self the voices that she made were just so creepy and um, yeah it, it, also a costume design with her hair um, it really, I thought that was the first thing that stood out to me was that was like her alternate uh, side that was really, really creepy and had a weird side to her. Um, yeah. I liked that a lot. Yeah, I mean, I thought that it was really interesting how the cast had to play off of themselves, basically. Yeah. Um, you know, playing two separate roles. Um, I remember watching an interview with Jordan Peele, how he said uh, when Lupita was playing like the evil character, uh, when she was in the dressing room, she would be in character the whole time. So he would hand her edits or whatever, the script, and she would kind of reply in that, ooh, like, <laughs> like, like, like awesome. voice. And yeah, I just thought that was really cool. Yeah. I mean, with Jordan Peele as the director, though, I mean, you kind of have room for uh, comedic aspects to be thrown in. Um, did you think that there was too much of that in the movie? I mean, again, that, uh, going back to what I said, the intention yeah. wasn't really to be horror. So I think them, th uh, Jordan Peele throwing in the jokes uh, during the scary parts kind of made it for me focus more on the story and I really picked up on a bunch of uh, symbols and things that really most viewers wouldn't expect or really understand. So I enjoyed it more because of the, the comedy. So. Yeah, well he throws in a lot of like hidden things into his movies. I mean, we saw that, I mean, this is only a second movie, but in Get Out there were a lot of like thematic things. Yeah. Uh, what were some of the themes that you kind of saw in the movie? One shot, or there was yeah. really two shots in particular. Mm -hmm. One shot where um, Adelaide as a little girl, when she's walking down the boardwalk into the sand, um, she's looking out at the storm clouds, right? Yeah. And that's before they switch places. And so you look at the other side, her alternate side, um, red coming up this escalade, uh, escalator and it's just bright lights and it looks like she's going up to heaven and you know and I just picked up a meter like the, uh, the red, is, red is going yeah. up to heaven mm -hmm. and Adelaide the innocent one is going down to you know thunderstorm which is hell essentially the so. contrast yeah yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was really interesting how he was able to use so much symbolism in the movie I mean the cinematography blew me away yeah I mean there was one shot in particular um, when they were going onto the beach as a family, it was like directly down on top of their heads. Yeah. Uh, were there any other shots that kind of stood out to you? It was also yeah. right on the beach when yeah. uh, she drops the apple right into the sand, and mm. that, that was just a nice shot. sticks. It, yeah, in the <laughs> foreground, and then she's just walking off into the background. That's a really nice, really, really nice shot. Mm -hmm. um, another aspect of the movie that I loved was the sound design. I think that most of the credit for like the thriller aspects of it should go to the sound design. I mean, it was bone chilling. Yeah. I mean, the opening scene of all the rabbit cages with just like that oh, opera. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, one criticism I had with the intro, it was a little yeah. too long, but it was just, it really set you in though. Even though it was long, it's, 
it was just eerie to watch a slow, slow zoom of a rabbit just sitting there. And yeah. it was like, what, what's going on? I mean, but I do agree. It was a bit long, yeah. but I was sitting there just, it kind of leaves you wondering, like, what does this have to do with anything? I mean, these rabbits, what do they have to do yeah. with the rest of the story? And I mean, I didn't, I couldn't, I did some digging online. I couldn't really find what the symbolism was about the rabbits, but Jordan Peele himself said he's just straight up freaked out by rabbits. So yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. So that's wow. why he included that. But um, could you see him kind of expanding into other genres? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. with him, with Key and Peele, right, uh, that was, that took off. And so that's, he's a comedian. Mm -hmm. So of course he's going to expand. Um, I think it's a matter of time where he makes a comedy and it's going to really take off. But absolutely. And he already has incorporated comedy into his horror film. So I'm sure he'll make a standalone at some point. Right. My, now, my gripe with this movie was the ending. I feel like the ending was kind of just thrown in there because they needed a twist and they needed it to be like, oh, like M. Night Shyamalan and like freak us out. What, what did you think? Yeah, but the, I, I felt like the ending was so unexpected. It, it was such a different twist that I, I enjoyed it like because it was so bizarre. Mm -hmm. um, and it made sense too because at the beginning, it's, a, it's almost like a full circle ending or more or less just connecting back to what happened in the beginning. You watch all these commercials back from like the 80s or whatever and I'm like, okay, this is pretty creepy. And then yeah. with the whole, like, the government project, I, I, which yeah. I guess is a theory. They don't really fully establish the that. Hands but Across America thing. Yeah. That was, yeah. I, I like that whole idea of just the government right. infiltrating in everyone's lives. And right. it's a failed project. And I mean, I thought the movie was kind of like lost, like a great, a great piece of art yeah. with like an ending that just leaves you scratching your head and wanting a drink. <laughs> like, I mean, the fact that they were n it wasn't really the real mother the whole time she was the one from underground and then the real mother was the one that was yeah it's it's a in the tunnel or whatever it's so a they, bit of a twist but so like it really i don't know i feel like they really just threw that in there kind of just to for that last punch and it didn't really land that well with me yeah i but, mean um, my friend was explaining it to me a couple of parts and he was like just remember that i'm like okay but other than that i think it was kind of a little hard to understand but once you got it it's really right. weird to think about. Overall, what would you rate it out of five? Out of five? Probably a 4.5. I think that's 4 .5? Yeah, pretty high. I, 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 would yeah. Re I really, really like it. The story was great. Right. Well, I'll give it a four just because of that ending, but I still very much enjoyed it. I was oh, entertained yeah. completely all the way through. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, but stick around because we've got more coming up right here on Press Start. That's it.